Hello, this is Leonardo, and in this video I'm going to show you this new effect called Knobskate, which is my version of a, of a flip-flop octaver. If you don't know what this thing is, uh, so the basic idea is that you input a signal and it should add a signal which is one or two octaves below. So this is, this is inspired by by some uh, guitar effects in which you in input your regular signal your regular guitar signal and then you, you just get it to sound lower like a bass but in this in this version uh, what i tried to do it was something more interesting for for the for the format of vcp rack or or to put in the context of, of a synthesizer and then Mm, this effect can be considered more like a, as a wave shaper or so, some way of, of uh, adding some harmonics or modifications to, to a signal. So I'm, I'm going to demonstrate it with a with a sine wave. So let's just input a sine wave, which is this one, uh, and let's uh, start. This is a, a blend control. So in this side is is the the dry signal and on the other side is the wet signal so with the settings as they are this is how it will sound so you can hear that it's, it's definitely one octave lower from the original and we can just stay in some point in between with this second control here, we select, uh, uh, we blend the sounds from uh, one octave below or two octaves below. So you can hear that it's even lower. But one interesting thing that this effect has is, is that uh, you can select the way you want to blend in the, the octave and this on this side we have uh, the new generated signal which is one octave below it's it's added to the output signal and on this side it performs a, a multiplication so it's kind of am let's let me just select the first octave and then change to the this mode that is, which is more like a like AM. Let me do the same with the second octave. sounds like that so the effect is very simple and as, as you can hear it's it's just like a different way of, of adding harmonics to your to your incoming signal and it makes it more interesting uh, but one characteristic of, of this uh, octaver is that this uh, is based on a flip-flop disconnect it so well, the way it internally works is that it has a a kind of comparator which produces a pull signal and then uh, is passed to a to a flip flop if in if you don't know what that is it, I, it, it's very similar to to the concept of clock divider so just imagine that you that you have a pull signal that is passed to a clock divider and then you get uh, the signal divided by two or or by four uh, in order to get the the lower octaves and then those generated signals are blend uh, in the uh, in with the original signal so one characteristic that this architecture has is that it's not very st stable when you have a, a clear and nice uh, signal like this the sound is you can you can repeat it is it's, it's very stable but let's say that we have a more complex signal like PESEC with two oscillators and in, in a different tuning. Then we get this 
unstable points that depending on, on the tuning of the signals the octaves start like jumping so this is the original signal this one is the generator One thing that I like to do a lot with this one is, is that it's, it's really nice for making some kind of uh, uh, percussive sounds or, or, or in introducing variations. So I just took a random sec3 which is producing three signals and I'm gonna connect, connect it. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna connect the signals here. This, that's basically Knobskate. It's a very simple effect that that will help you to create these extra harmonics to your sounds. And this is part of the of the of the free package. And uh, well, as you can see, it has a, a a stereo input. And the way it works is similar as as with uh, all the other plugins that I have stereo. If you have only one input connected, you get the process output into two. But when you connect the other input, you get it separate. Uh, each of the inputs is processed separate and output in its, in its corresponding channel. So to get more of this on the models, just subscribe to this channel and that's it, thank you.